It's high noon. All right, today we're taking a look at the Astro Militarum Tech Priest Engine uh, Regimental Engine Seer. So this guy here, I painted him using pretty much nothing but Army Painter Speed Paint 2.0s. The red cloak, I started with the uh, Nuclear Sunrise as the base, and then just came over with the uh, I think it's just called the I think it's Ruby Red or something, something like that. Just their their or bright red. Did the bright red, then used their their shining gold for the axes as well as the uh, ruddy fur on the leather pieces and then all of the metallic components are that broadsword silver and then uh, I just did some accents with some blue and purple and the servo skulls, skulls also in that uh, shining gold I think it looks pretty cool the models pretty awesome and a uh, solid include in a Astro Military Army all right, so let's take a look at what the regimental engine seer can do on the actual battlefield. So his stat line is pretty normal. He's got a move of six, toughness four, three plus save. He's got three wounds, which is pretty typical for any kind of uh, hero character model. Leadership seven and an OC of one. Uh, he comes with his uh, range weapon of the architect pistol. Devastating wounds, which is nice, and it's a pistol weapon. It's only got one attack, though. He does hit on threes, strength six, no AP, and does one damage. The Devastating Wounds is nice because it kind of helps mitigate the zero AP if he actually does roll a critical hit. Uh, the melee weapons, he's got the Engine Seer Axe. It's a melee weapon. Three attacks. Weapon skill four plus. Strict six. AP minus two. and does two damage. He's pretty beefy in close combat for a uh, pretty cheap Astro Militarum character. And he's got the Servo Arm, which gives him a couple, which gives him an extra attack. Same uh, profile as the... Uh, Engine Seer Axe, just a couple less attacks, but they are free extra attacks that he gets. So overall, uh, the Engine Seer, he's, he's okay. I mean, I think he's a little pricey at 45 points. Um, you know, just based on his weapon loadout and his stat line, he's just average. There's nothing spectacular about him. What really makes the difference for this guy is his, abil is, is his actual abilities. So his, his abilities over here are you know he's got the core ability he's a leader so you can put him in a squad i'll uh, i'll go over the squads that he can go into and kind of why you may want to actually do that uh he's got the engine seer ability it says while this model is within three inches of one or more friendly astromilitary vehicle units this model has the lone operative which is nice because that means that you can't just pick them out and and kill them unless you're unless you're within 12 inches of them which is nice then he's got the omnicide's blessing in your command phase Select one friendly Astro Militarum vehicle model within three inches of this model. That vehicle model regains die three lost wounds. And until the start of your next command phase, that vehicle has a four plus and vulnerable save. And each vehicle can only have that one, that ability once per turn, which makes sense. You can't just stack a pile of engine seers, you know, with around a, one tank and heal it to full every single time is basically what they're trying to, to eliminate. And then he gets pissed. He gets pissed if you kill his vehicles. Says he's got the vengeance of the Omnissiah. It says if a friendly Astro Militarum vehicle model is destroyed within 12 inches of this model until the end of the battle, this model's Engine Seer Axe has an attack's characteristic of 6. Which is cool. It's just, that, That's really a cool flavor thing. Ideally, I don't think it's going to come into play too much unless he, you've got him plowing forward into into melee combat but it is it's fun it, i mean it's it's a cool little fun ability and then uh he also has an invulnerable save of five plus which is actually pretty uncommon for astro militarium units unit. so that's a that's a nice thing for him overall i think the regimental engines here they're good i like them i like that the ability to be able to heal your vehicles i love the ability to give your vehicles an invulnerable four plus save because especially your uh your beefy tanks like the rogaldorn your opponent's going to see that thing and if it doesn't know, if your opponent doesn't know what the hell that thing's going to do after turn one, it's, they're going to know, and they're, they're going to, they're, they know they, they're going to have to take it out and being able to heal the die three, die three lost wounds might just be, be enough to get it out of the bracketed phase of its, of its damage profile so that it can actually still function at full ability. You know, the die three lost wounds isn't going to heal it up to full or or save it from getting killed, but it may it may allow it to be combat effective until it actually gets taken off the table. 
And then the four plus and vulnerable again just gives it adds that extra durability to those guys or to those vehicles that he's within th three inches of. Now that's a pain in the ass. That three inches is a pain in the ass though. There are some ways that you can help with it, especially if you are pushing your vehicles up the board, which honestly in most guard armies you're gonna need to be moving. It isn't like you can play in 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 tenth edition when most of the missions require you to capture objectives in no man's land or even in your opponent's side of the board, you can't just sit there and play the static, I'm just going to sit here and shoot you, kill all your shit, and win the game. It doesn't work that way. All uh, it, it can, but it's not all that effective. You know, you can't just sit there and take all the artillery pieces and all the heavy weapon squads and everything. Just sit back and think that you're going to be able to kill your opponent and then just win the game anyway. It doesn't, it's not going to, it doesn't work out. I've, I've tried it. It doesn't work. You need to be able to push your army forward, take objectives, hold them, and deal out damage in order to, honestly, deal damage just to keep your own guys alive. Because if you don't, you're just going to get smoked because your guys are so squishy. Well, this guy helps... The squishy part with your vehicles, not that your vehicles are squishy, but it makes your vehicles even extra difficult to deal with because they have a four plus and vulnerable save if you have this guy. So the other the other part that, that this guy has is that he is also a leader, so he's allowed to lead units. And you would think, well, he has he has lone operative. Why does he need to lead, lead units? Why? Because it gives him up to 20 extra wounds before he's even dead. It also allows him to be in a squad that can take orders that can give them like the move, move, move order so that he can move faster to keep up with the vehicles that he's trying to keep alive and trying to dish out his four plus and vulnerable state. So ideally you're going to put him in a squad of, of, infantry or death Corps Krieg or well, <laughs> jungle fighters, because if his vehicle's around him, if he's around the vehicles that gets killed, then him and his jungle fighter squad are going to go berserk, which is kind of fun. Uh, I mean, I don't know how effective it really is, but it's fun. You know, he also can get a squad of servitors. The servitors are fine. They're nothing spectacular. I think they're, they're right here. I don't have any of them. I don't know if I'll ever actually use them because I don't think they're very good. They're, they're good. Just flak squad. That's just going to, going to take a beating and extra wounds for him if he's wandering around. But if you put him in a squad of infantry or, you know, any of the infantry, Cadians, Catachan, those death corps, or just straight infantry squads or Kassarkin, he can, he can get orders just like everybody else or just like all the other squads because he's in an infantry squad and he would benefit from those, from those orders, which allow him to do things like move, 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 or take aim or, you know, go to ground, any of them. So it universally makes him much better to be in a squad and it gives him a bunch more wounds. And then if that squad happens to get smoked, he's, and he's still alive. He's got the lone operative ability to continue to stay alive. And most likely at that stage, you're probably trying to get him into close combat and use his six attacks with his servo arm or with his engine seer ax and servo arm to do some serious damage to whoever pissed him off because they killed his, he, they killed his freaking bro, the vehicles. So you don't have to just run them down the field, you know, huffing the crack out of the tailpipe of each vehicle. Just put them in a squad, dedicate that squad to be kind of hanging out around the vehicles the whole time. And, and, and he'll do his job and universally they'll be better. The other thing that you could do, which is kind of funny, is literally put a Bane Blade on there. Then you can use the Bane Blade's ability of being the moving, the moving fortress. So his squad gets full cover while he's while he's smoking the tailpipe crack and helping this, helping the Bane Blade out, giving the Bane Blade a four plus and vulnerable save, healing any wounds that, that anybody throws at it. Again, that's another tactic you can use. And he's odds are the vehicle's so damn huge. You'll probably hide behind it the whole time. And they'll never see him and they'll never see him. So tech, uh, uh, the tech piece regiment, regimental engines here, man, the guy's good. He's a little pricey at 45 points, but, you field enough vehicles, these are the guys you're going to use. I mean, I, I would put a bunch of these guys out there if I'm feeling in like a tank company or something with a whole bunch of uh, heavy hidden vehicles like Rogals or even like a, uh, even, even your Lehman Russes and stuff. They're, they're, they're all worth uh, trying to keep alive in that four plus and one roll save that the, uh, 
blessing the blessing or the on the size blessing can put out there it's solid so yeah i mean there you go regimental engines here guys check them out and uh please uh like subscribe here on Brocco's gaming world and come back for more warhammer 40k imperial guard astro militarium videos and i'm also going to be doing uh some more uh, build and paint stuff here in the near future so till next time guys please take care Boom goes the dynamite.